There are a lot of repetitive tasks that you have to worry about when coding. What if your IDE could handle those for you though? With Kiro Agents, you can automate those everyday tasks. As a project grows, documentation, testing, refactoring for readability, and performance of the application becomes critical. You can delegate many of those tasks to Kiro Agent Hooks, which triggers automatically and work in the background. So you can ship code faster with better quality. All right, I have a Rust application open here. It's a rental booking website. In it, it has several different RESTful API routes. Each route represents a different endpoint my front end can use to book rental listings or get user information or search for new bookings. So let's discover how you can set up the app to update the Swagger YAML file whenever a change occurs. That way I know the API documentation is always up to date and can be shared with the rest of the team without issue. All right, on the left-hand side in this window is the new Kiro Ghost icon. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. And we can see some new options here. And let me click the plus icon in the agent hooks. You can also resize the agentic chat window on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna do that real quickly to give us more space. All right, so here we can fill out some information. At the bottom, there's some predefined options. However, let me just go ahead and add a new prompt here. I'm gonna type this out. When the main.rs file is saved, update the swagger file with the latest changes. If the swagger file is missing, create a new one. And now we're just going to go ahead and click that little enter icon. All right, so you can see some of the options and events that you have now. I have file created, file saved, file deleted, and, and manual trigger. I'll click on the create hook since this looks pretty good to me. All right, you'll now notice that you have a .cura folder. Inside this folder is our new hook. You can always go in and make changes to that folder and make changes to the file if needed. You can also share this whole folder with your version control and with your team. That way, if anybody on your team makes changes, the routes will be updated and your Swagger file will be updated as well. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'll update the endpoint for the search listing. And then after saving the file, you can see here, if I click here, it's actually working and it's making the updates to the Swagger file. All right, so I pulled up the Swagger file in my viewer here and actually created a, a JSON file instead of a YAML file, but that's fine. You see it has all my API listings and it has the new search bookings API route that I just changed. So this looks great. I really like this. I'm going to be using this in all my projects. So in summary, you were able to create a new Kiro hook, trigger it and see the Swagger file created. I wanna see what you can do next. Let us know in the comments below and also check out the full agent hook blog post below.